Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a video uh, working with an idea that Tristan Yarns sent to me. He was working with the Espit alcohol burner. Now this isn't one of them, but it's just about the exact same thing, which is just about the exact same thing as a Trangia. Anyway, what his idea was putting the Evernew titanium cross stand on the top like I did on an earlier video. I'll put links to these videos down below. But what he was suggesting was putting the simmer ring on the top of this and then the pot on top of that. Well, I tried it. Got a pretty bad uh, time. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 8 minutes, 43 seconds. Earlier, earlier meaning months ahead, when I used the Evernew Titanium Cross Stand the right way, I got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a boil in 7 minutes and 38 seconds. But when I turned it upside down like this, because then it gave me more distance between the burner and the bottom of the pot, this came two cups of water starting at 61 degrees to a full boil in 6 minutes and 36 seconds. So his idea of using oops, of using the simmering like that was even a worse time. But then I got a comment from Zuzable where he, Zuzable said, what if the simmering should be closed? Meaning, I guess, oops, like that, that it would be closed on there. Not such a hot idea, I didn't think. Because here, the flames are underneath the simmering, and then they kind of get stuck underneath this thing. So then I got to thinking, well, what if we close the simmering, but put it on there upside down? Then the flames would come out of the jets, hit the bottom of this ring, and come up the sides and hit the pot. And that might work. Keep lifting us up by the wrong side. So that's what I want to try today. I should have started this already. What I'm going to do here is let this come to a bloom and then put the titanium cross stand on there. It seems if I put it on here now, it takes forever for it to come up to a bloom. Let me move this out of the way so it doesn't get heated up. So, and this is why I always look forward to your comments and things. Different ideas like this. You never know what just might pan out. Okay, there that's come to a blossom. Let me put the titanium stand on, making sure that I don't block any of the jets. You just have to turn it a little bit from one side to the next. See how it took the flame down? That uh, cross stand is just acting like a huge heat sink. Okay, now there it's building up again. Let me put ouch, the lid on there. Okay, that's coming up. I'm already on camera too, somewhere along the line here. Let me put the pot on carefully. Starting at 60, what was that, 60 or 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, now we're four minutes into the test and the flames have spread a bit. Okay, there we have 210. 211. 212 and 735. Cool. Okay. So that time, wow, steam. Now the problem with this is then the 
simmer ring that you use for a snuffer is all hot. Let me take this off. Flip this on. So you have to use your multi-tool. I won't even pick that up with my glove. See, the lid's so hot, it won't put out the flame. There we go. Okay. So let's see what we got there. This time, two cups of water starting at 60, 61 degrees came to a full boil in 7 minutes and 35 seconds. Uh, the last time when I tried this with the titanium, still heat coming off there, the titanium on this plus the cap open, which gave me a time of 8 minutes and 43 seconds. So this method was about uh, a minute faster. I think what had happened was by opening this up, then when you put the lid on there like that, all this area protects the pot from getting warm. But then when we do it with Zuzable's idea, closing it, putting it upside down, the flames come up to the side, up to the bottom rather, and up the side and hit the pot. So that it would work for a wide pot like this. Now with the S-bit one, with this handle in the way, I guess you'd have to move that out and put it on there. Except it's kind of hard to hold the lid up that way. Okay. So, I don't know. Just using the titanium upside down gave me 6 minutes and 36 seconds which was even a minute faster than doing it this method. So I think I'll stick with just putting the titanium cross stand on there upside down like that. That seems to be about the quickest of these three different ways. I thank Zuzable for his comment and his idea. I thank Tristan Yarns for his original idea of using the simmer ring on this even though it doesn't really look like it saves us a lot of time, but I thank him for his suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.